I'm hitting my peak. But it's hotter than the surface of Venus out here. You're losing brain cells as the moments pass. I said, I think I'm hallucinating. Stay rounded. You want to be versatile. You don't want to have one path and one way to jump. I just got to go to the all these workouts all these little dunk sessions are all in progress of dunking in game so if you're following along it's gonna be a great day when I film a game and I poster someone's entire life because that's my goal that's my goal I really just want to catch bodies in games dunk hard in games windmill in games catch alley-oops just in legit games have enough stamina have enough bounce to dunk easy off a drop step really punch it in game I don't want to rattle it in I don't want to just reach up there and touch the rim and put it in. I want to smash a dunk in games. I've only dunked very few times in a game, but if you're following this channel, if you're interested in me, if you wonder what I'm doing, why I'm doing it, all the training is for that. And why do I want to do that? It just seems like the most incredible experience. And that's that. And it's a dream of mine I've always had. And dunking used to be a dream of mine. And windmilling used to be a dream of mine. Uh, and two-hand dribble dunking used to be a dream of mine. Completed those, so it's on to the next one. And this one was one of my first dreams I ever had, which was dunking in games. That's the whole reason I started. It just, it really is the main one. And I love chasing those big dreams, because every time I do that, I have to, I have to level up my experience. I have to level up my awareness and my consciousness to a higher playing field. It really feels like that, and it transcends my whole life. Woo! That's a little deep, but that's how we do it here. Oh, sick. This place is sick. Woo! Exactly 10 feet, let's fly. Chest is super sore, it feels like I can't even reach. But I like that because when my upper body's sore, it feels like resistance. And when I fight that, it feels like it makes the other muscles work harder. And even if that's not true, it's mentally making me think that. So I'm good with that. By the way, my camera's over here because it's in the shade. And if I don't leave it in the shade, it's gonna overheat before I even get to film any dunks. I'm actually really happy to start off with a jump like that, getting the ball almost above the rim, still touching the rim. Really, really about 20% warmed up, so let's go. G-Wagon, there he is. What's up, dude? I'm gonna bang one, at least. Okay, update, I'm hitting my peak, but it's hotter than the surface of Venus out here. So I'm, dra I'm draining quick. I'm gonna try to get really up, bang one, even try to mill one. I really want a dribble dunk. If I don't leave with a dribble dunk, I'm gonna be a little upset because I need to keep that my focus, but it's hard when you're losing brain cells as the moments pass. Space Jam 3. Come out, son. I need you. I 
gotta get the ball. Got it, 100%. Easy. I knew it. <laughs> First rim touch by Steven Selly. I was there. I That's think sick. I was. I think I was the inspiration, actually. Dude, we definitely hooped. Yeah. Oh my god, it's amazing. You, did I feel you turn around, you're like, did you see that? <laughs> oh, come on. Testing the one foot bounce. Not bad. Not bad. Quick standing vert. I'll take it. Oh, yes. So, the thing about standing vert and one foot vert, even though I'm working on my max vert, it's not going to translate to those other skills if I don't specifically work on them. Yes, if I jump higher in general, it'll help the other ones, but it, those are their own skills as well. So I have to make sure I put in some reps of everything, including dribble dunks, other plants, other things like that. So stay rounded. You want to be versatile. You don't want to have one path and one way to jump. He's texting his friend, Steven Sully's here. Oh my God. The famous dunker's here. Oh my God. He's such an inspiration. Got to find a job somehow, you know? Oh, okay. Very straight into the sun. Nine nine exactly. Nine nine exactly, and now I'm blind, so that's good. <laughs> oh my god! I'm gonna smash one so hard, hard they're gonna call me the st stomp the yard boy. <laughs> For those watching, I just want to reiterate: three inches makes a big difference. And, and no, no, he, she said jokes. Oh, it's just about to make one. I know, I know. I'm four steps ahead. Light the yard. Light the yard. I just have so much room to spare when it's. I give that one a B plus because I just like went like this. I have so much room to spare when it's three inches low. Decent. He's yes, all idiots. I don't even know him. <laughs> totally kidding. He's talking about this home court app. Haven't heard of it. It tracks your shots. It it can detect when it goes in, so it tracks your percentage. Pretty cool. Maybe they'll sponsor me. Maybe I'll make some fucking mm -hmm. brutal. That was a good one. I said I think I'm hallucinating. Oh yeah. Ow. Good jump with the ball in my hand, two hands at the end of the session. I'm happy with it. I'm pushing it to the max today. So I gotta take that into the count. Even though in two days when I sleep really good that I feel like I wanna go again, I gotta listen to my body. Remember how hard I went. The central nervous system takes up to four days to recover and I know I'm spending it all today.